In this Dragonfly 3 training video, we're going to look at the Manipulate panel. The Manipulate panel is fundamental and basic to operating your 3D and 2D scene and for interacting with it. For this demonstration, we have a data set that is a micro CT scan of a Moloch or a Thorny Devil. This data set was collected at the UCT, UTCT image scanning facility located at the University of Texas in Austin. The manipulate control panel is usually found on the main tab. For my workspace, I've undocked it from the main tab and put it at the top of my user interface because I use it so often. The first button on the manipulate panel is a state button. Like all state buttons, it's gray. And this is the default button. In fact, for most users, whenever you hit the escape key, it takes you back to the track state. When I'm in the track state, I have the behavior that I can use the mouse horizontally to manipulate the scene in 3D or vertically or diagonally to move around my 3D scene. And that's the behavior of the track state. If I happen to be in the pan state, you might have a shortcut key. So for example, I have the T key, which allows me to temporarily be in the track state. As soon as I release the T key, I'm back in whatever state I was before, which is pan. So if you watch the state button, the state indicator at the bottom of the screen, you can see I can temporarily enter the track state because I've pushed the T key on the keyboard, and when I release, I'm back in the pan state. So the pan state has the behavior of allowing me to pan horizontally or vertically or pan around my image. This also works in the 2D space. Like the track state, there are shortcut keys available to configure for temporarily entering the pan state. If I go back to the track state, you can see that for me to do a temporary pan, and again, you can watch the state indicator at the bottom, I can enter the temporary pan by holding down the left and right mouse button simultaneously that allows me to pan. The next, the next state on the manipulate panel is the Cine state, which allows you to slice through volumetric data in 2D views. This allows me to drag vertically to scroll through different slices. You can see here, slice 505 of 124 changes as I drag up and down. This also has a shortcut key, so if I'm back in the track state, um, you can have the C key, which will temporarily enter the Cine state. For me, I hold down the C key and I drag up and down because that's the way I've configured it in my control in my configurable preferences. The next state is the zoom state, which allows you to drag down to zoom in or up to zoom out. This works in the 3D view and the 2D view. The next state is the walk state. This allows you to create oblique views by dragging the mouse. So suppose I'm interested in looking at this part of the spine, but I'm interested in looking at it from different views. If I'm in the walk state, when I drag, I'm now rotating this view and I'm looking at it as I can drag up or right or left, and I'm looking at the spine from different views. This is similar to applying yaw and pitch. So if I'm back in the track state, you can see that I can use these text presenters to do a yaw, and you can see the behavior of how this slice is changing over here, or a pitch, and you can see how it's changing up here. So the walk button allows you to do both at the same time, and it pivots directly where the mouse is. So this allows you to walk around and change the freehand view of that slice. The next state button on the manipulate is the pivot point. The pivot point allows you to reposition where the 3D track will pivot. This changes your center of rotation. So if I have it here and I'm in the track state, I rotate in track and I move around the middle of this Moloch. However, if I use this track, this, this pivot point state to translate this to the tip of the head. Now when I'm in track state, you can see I'm rotating around that position. I can still pan and I can still zoom, but I'm rotating around that. If I click this button, this is an action button. And this will take all of my 3D and 2D views and zoom out or zoom in so that the data models that are loaded now fit within the view. So you can see that now they all fit. The final action button is a reset button, which will reset all of the views to their initial orientation, and it will reset the zoom. So we can see that the action buttons don't change our state. 
So we've looked at a number of the manipulate state buttons. You should always keep in mind that the text presenters on screen allow you to interact with the scene. And so we saw that the Cine state lets us scroll through slices, which can also be done by dragging on the slice number text presenter. We saw that the walk state allows you to adjust the yaw and the pitch, but that can also be done by dragging horizontally on yaw or vertically on pitch. We've seen the zoom state will let you zoom in and out. That can also be adjusted by dragging on the field of view text presenter to zoom in or zoom out. Once you learn the keyboard shortcuts for different states, it becomes very, you become very productive in manipulating your scene. So I have a middle mouse button which lets me zoom and a left and right mouse button which let me pan so I can zoom and pan very effectively. I can use these in combination with other shortcuts like my control right drag for adjusting the brightness and contrast. So a way of becoming productive in Dragonfly 3 is to take advantage of your configurable actions so that you know your mouse, board, your mouse and keyboard shortcuts to manipulate your scene. So we've seen the manipulate panel which includes six different state buttons and two different action buttons for manipulating your 2D and 3D scenes. That concludes this demonstration.